Okay, so yesterday I've been doing some uh, fixes in my short modeling tool. Well, actually, I did it on Friday and finished today. But I decided to give it a go and show the way it works a bit. So first of all, I'm going to access my all my tools. They are combined just in one tool. Uh, in pipeline, they are like uh, connected directly into pipeline. This is out of the pipeline a bit. But also, if somebody has this run it and run it. So, this one unfortunately didn't work for me in Maya 2017 because I got an error. There were some issues with Putty Designer, or rather, PySite 2. So, it works in Python 2.7 and Python 3. Python 3, 3 in Maya 2.22. So, ah, sorry, this was the old one. So I decided to go into the direction of a uh, shape editor. It doesn't include in between, but for short modeling it's okay. So we can have like a cache geometry. For we're gonna do two examples. So this one will be like I'm gonna assume this is a cache geometry. There's no animation here, but uh, don't worry about this. So first of all, I've got some like uh, this one is. Uh, like mm, applying uh, ABC to our pipeline, current pipeline, so uh, I will not show it, but first of all we need to do a plan sheet of every single one of them. I'm gonna create the transformation and I send them. So I, did, I always decide to have like a unique name and unique name for all of them. Also when starting the script there's the animation holder. This will keep all the mm, meshes information and all the animation will be given through it and certain nodes. So first I'm gonna do a create blue blend shape. When doing it on a short modeling tool like with a cache, I decided the best flow would be to blend the animation into duplicates. I also added some namespace called short modeling. And now when I have this I can like start first prefix this will be my like I want to call it, I tend to call it like first pass, but you can split the mods like to arm, left, hand, and so on. So, this one here is based on uh, cache, so it's like a. Uh, you need to watch out on the rotations because they're not like included. When doing hands and other stuff that includes rotation, I tend to plug it in directly in dig, which is automatic here. So, I'm going to start with first the side name. When I click there nothing, there will be like information that you need to add, some, add something. So I'm going to add a first pass. And when I add the add target, this here matters. So I'm going to start at 105 frame. And I'm going to get a first pass uh, frame. We have information that it is uh, edit, set up editable. So every single blend shape here will be driven. <clears throat> and target will be driven by this one here. So I'm gonna just key it here to one. So I click right hit here and key it to one. And go here and key it to zero with right click. So I can adjust it here. And now I'm gonna just do some, I can do some scanty or just do some editing here. So I can do it like check it here, it works. Of course, it's animated, so I can check it here. Now I'm gonna do it a bit differently, and I can do it like that. So first, I've got like our two animations. When I do this, I want to like to check how it looks comparing to the previous one. So I adapted something that is like can turn off the visibility of current blend shape. I can turn off the visibility of all blend shapes, or rather target, current target and all targets that are here. So anyway, I mean, I can go like, I'm going to turn it back on, and I'm going to show something how it works. So I'm going to grab this and go to node editor. So everything is driven by a animation folder here. It's got some notes about the models that's included, and I have like some notes that are like uh, this here are like base animation here and that goes into the 
shape editor. So this is the base animation, so it will be like somebody running or so on, and we are like deciding to do every few frames because it's short and they have no rotations and, and we want to do a clothing that's already simulated we can do this and I'm gonna do, do a, another blend shape here here so I'm gonna add another pass I'm gonna go like I like to work every five frames then depending on how it works so I'm gonna add it so everything is being updated here also uh, the tenth frame goes to directly to edit mode if I switch between them, they switch, and now I can like key it in a 10th frame to value 10 and go to uh, value 0. Also, I can go like go next key here. I can delete the key here if I want to. Uh, when the key is on this frame, it goes red. I can delete the uh, this uh, this this here this symbol. I'm gonna do it later on. I'm just gonna add another sculpting layer here so I tend to uh, do like when I'm revealing blend shapes I usually test like it's, it doesn't look good after animation so on so I tend to stack them up build them up and just add them one after another so I'm not turning them off and I don't have this uh, like you call it doesn't start to float differently strangely so I can add here like another one so here this one for example and this one of course I can like drag all of them and just split sculpt and show why it and go to uh, fall of type volume sometimes the size is too big so I go with the graph and I can do this fall of type volume okay so I know this blend shape does this and turn it on already animated so it starts here let's go to another frame just to show so I'm gonna group create another blend for this example I'm still gonna stay with first pass and I still have some, something here that I can key and I decided to do key on, with under button like zero and uh, and uh, so on speed faster because I usually turn them on, turn them off. Later on, I will go to a um, go to a graph editor. Sometimes I did uh, graphs ba based on selecting. This is all animation is here, so uh, I can see all the animation here, all the points. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to my worst was this so I, if I forget where it is I can just go and go to next key this one zero okay so uh, let's let's add something here I'm gonna add something to make it like a noticeable and now I have this animation this is blend shape base and every single uh, target they are combined and can be like turned on, turned on at once now uh, here I think I can have nothing here but when I click somewhere it will go give the first seven I can go and do a second pass it all depends on the preference how you want to call them I can go and add a tiger target and they're all grouped also if I want to like uh, do this hundred pass and I'm gonna do it like uh, this, let's assume this is like a I, I cannot rename this here but because everything's uh, linked but I can like delete it and everything will be removed so I will go back to 10th pass uh, and add a target okay and I can key it and I decided it goes like this okay so this is here and in 10 pass for example I will just move everything here so it goes there and I'm gonna go to the 18th pass and I'm gonna give it here and key to value 1 of course it sets up here and go to like in here I'm gonna start the animation okay. 
so I have this stuff here I can delete this one so I can go to this the naming will automatically change so I can go to 10 and add it and I had the problem that this is doing it wrongly also with the this this edits didn't work but now it works well so it's 10 everything is here okay so this mode is on on every single one of them so I could do something there and one thing is that when I like close it go back and turn it on everything's here every single one of them is the same as it was left so I can delete this uh, not delete it just turn this off and I go here and everything what was on is on and go to edit modes one more time so turn them on I'm gonna leave this one off and the only thing is that we have to ex I have to expand this because it's based on the uh, previous uh, settings so if I delete it it will be expanded all the expanded stuff that was at once will be expanded uh, anyway I can go like this and start a new oh for example I can go like this and start a new scene so it will clean up and for example I will do a one more model here I'm gonna duplicate it I like you don't have to have uh, letters uh, not letters numbers in the meshes I'm gonna trace modify perfect transformation and I'm gonna rig them create a skeleton create jumps so I'm gonna just put in this one and this one will be skin in skin so now I have this uh, rig here and I'm gonna turn off the point visibility but first I'm gonna just animate it like I'm gonna set a key here and set a key here and I'm gonna go and set a key here and set a here here maybe this one will be like let's move it further So now they will be like rotating and so on. And now it will be like when I'm gonna grab them and then create a great blend shape group, it will make a blend shape uh, in front of the skin before the skin cluster. If there was a skin if there was already a blend shape, that for example at our place we have a rig for the body, but we blend in the head, then this blend shape will be used and another targets will be added. So I'm gonna give you like a new one target so I have this one here but like I have a hand for example and I'm forming a proper fist and I can do something about it and it will stay and rotate along the so it's like a band, simple blender so it works with the uh, with the joints and so on and it finds the skin automatically, it doesn't matter how the skin is being named. So it's a pre-deformation blend shape. So I can add another blend shape. I can turn this one off to see if this to compare it easily. I can do a for example, I'm gonna just add another one here. I'm gonna add another one. I'm gonna key it value one and gonna key it value zero, and then I'm gonna to turn off it, like for example, it's releasing the fist. So I'm gonna go to next key, worst one, okay, so I'm gonna like, for example, whatever, it doesn't matter at this point. So, I have this, and for example, I want to key this, and I want to key this here at one, and I'm gonna do, sometimes you have this uh, starting point for simulation, other stuff, so I'm gonna, for the, I'm gonna go back to 90 frame as an example and I can turn off all here k to value 0 so I'm gonna just change this here so we have the starting point 
at 100. So, for example, we first sculpted our fist in 100. Then we have the animation and turn it off and on. So, it works. And actually, this is it. <laughs> I have a, for, for now, I'm, I'm thinking of uh, turn, blanking, blanking this out until the branch is done, because sometimes I'm making a mistake and keep this for, for this one. But everything works, and of course I can like export the uh, ABC. I'm gonna export it to desktop. Here we go. Check. Okay, I have it. So I'm gonna start a new scene. I'm just gonna go uh, expand it to 90, 90 frames. And how they are like being imported? They're being imported with a subname, uh, not subname, namespace. And based on this namespace, I'm looking in when I'm applying it to a scene. I have like certain group that has a out namespace, and I'm looking for the out namespace, and I'm splitting the transfer and out namespace, and looking for the common name, and it's blended in with this one, so it's easy for me. Our current pipeline. But we have a, a bit different hierarchy from the one that is in a cache geometry, but it works. And at the end, I'm gonna add a tutorial here, which is currently being recorded. So this tutorial is a bit easy. Easy <laughs> select like presentation will work for like a first version of a easy tutorial. Later on, I will just grab a some sort of uh, animation from the previous project and do something for it. That's it, thank you for listening.